How's it going? So today I'm going to be giving you guys a closer look at my updated Star Wars Funko Pop display. I was messing with it earlier today because I got some new stuff mixed in there and it was time for an updated display. So this is going to be the first time showing it since my Funko Pop collection video. So without further ado, let's just get into the video, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. All right. What's up, Nation? Noah here back again. Excuse the lame intro. You know, I'm just trying to be entertaining out here. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to show you guys an updated look at my Star Wars Funko Pop displays today, not going really in-depth with the collection. If you want to see an in-depth look at my entire Funko Pop collection, I recently posted a whole Funko Pop collection video on the channel, so you can go check that out. But I updated the Star Wars display, moved some stuff around, um, just kind of, you know, some new displays pretty much. I mean, it's pretty simple. I think you guys get the idea. So uh, nothing crazy, but I just wanted to show you guys a closer look and show you guys um, some displays and stuff. So without further ado, let's just get into it. All right, so we'll start over here. So this uh, two shelves right here really haven't changed them um, at all since my pop collection video, but I'll give you a brief look anyway. Um, so these two shelves are kind of a Return of the Jedi inspired shelves. You know, got all those Return of the Jedi pops that came out last year with some other ones, some older ones, and, you know, just other pops mixed in. There's a, a random Yoda Pez. That's not even a pop Pez. He just hangs there. But yeah, that's the display going on there. So that really hasn't changed. And uh, neither has any of this changed. You know, got some out-of-box pops and whatnot. Um, some of these Disney... Uh, store figures these like uh, Knights of Ren, Sith Trooper, like the whole like pretty much villains from Rise of Skywalker. Um, my two Chase Pops, Star Wars wise, are still there. The Porg and uh, Luke on speeder bike. So nothing's changed over there, and uh, nothing's changed over here either. You just got my uh, Star Wars Pop Pez collection. Um, too deep right there. Pretty much, uh, or exactly all of them besides the two chases, which I never got. Um, I'll get them eventually, but yeah, all of my solo pops are here as well as here. Um, one of my favorites right here is the, uh, Funko Shop exclusive Mud Trooper. Really cool pop. Um, you got my one Rogue One pop still chilling over there. Nothing's changed. And then again, nothing's changed. Still the, uh, gold, uh, line of pops that all came out last year. All, uh, nine of them. Um, some pretty cool stuff. Um, down here, um, this is all empty boxes of pops that are on the shelf or like pops that you already saw, like those ones that are out of box. Some random Star Wars Legos down there, but that's whatever. Um, you also just got my 10 inch child still sitting on the floor because I don't have anywhere to put him. I tried filing him in on the shelf to try to, you know, display him a little better and he's just, he's just too big. So <laughs> uh, he's just going to be sitting here for the foreseeable future because I don't have anywhere to put this guy, but nonetheless, let's get back up to the top of the Star Wars shelf. So this really hasn't changed either. Um, pretty much everything else that I'm going to show you has changed. I keep saying nothing has changed in certain spots, but pretty much everything else has. Um, so up here though, you've got my, uh, two, of uh, a two of three inbox childs i already think i said on the cha channel before why i have three of them but yeah there's one there one there and another one which you'll see later my out of box kylo ren on the uh what is it in the thai whisperer so that's pretty cool and then you got my other three or three of six 10 inch star wars pops porg wicket and dio so pretty cool stuff but here we go so here's where it gets a little updated. So not huge on some of the Star Wars Disney movies. I mean, The Force Awakens is a pretty great movie. Not a fan of The Last Jedi. Really not that much a fan of Rise of Skywalker as well. But, you know, there's still some cool pops. I got to display them. Um, so I've turned this top shelf, which is just a quick, you know, six row in the, you know, sort of Rise of Skywalker one. Since they are some cool pops and I have them, so might as well display them. Um, we got the only a target Kylo Ren. This Sith Jet Trooper is only here because I'm going to swap it out with the uh, San Diego Comic-Con Amazon exclusive Sith Jet Trooper, which will be coming in the mail uh, next week, I think. So stay tuned for that unboxing. But that's why this is uh, here, like, on display, because I will be just swapping it out. Um, but that's why that one's there for now. Some Knights of Ren, Dark Side Ray, C-3PO. Behind these guys, I'm not going to go in-depth the collection, like I said, but there's more uh, Rise of Skywalker ones. And then behind this, I believe it's some empty boxes from Pops that are on display. Or no, there's my, there's the couple, uh, what is, what's the game? Jedi Fallen Order, the, all three of them, Pops are back there. And then behind, I think, three rows deep on, behind, like, these three or four is, um... Or is it some empty boxes for pops i'll show you guys later but that's the top shelf there moving on um is this empire strikes back inspired shelf with all of all pretty much all of the new empire strikes back pops i got some more down there which i'll show you but obviously there's been a lot of empire stuff this year because it's the 40th anniversary of the movie um but yeah i decided you know there's coming out with so much empire stuff might as well make a display for my second favorite star wars movie of all time but you know 10 inch boba fett Got the Luke and Yoda out of the box. One of my favorite pops, um, Star Wars pops in my collection. And, and, and in my opinion, one of the greatest Star Wars pops and Funko pops ever made. 
um, just looks so cool. So I'm just, these are just empty boxes because obviously the Han Solo and Carbonite is right there, as well as the Han and Leia 2-pack, which I showed in my unboxing for that Han Solo, as well as there's the Wampa. There's the two deluxe uh, figures that we have so far. The Chewbacca will come out in September, I believe, and there's three more after that. Um, you have R2 only a Target, and then I actually just picked this up yesterday. I haven't shown this yet, but this is the Princess Leia from this Empire Strikes Back series. I just never bought it, and then it randomly went up in value. It's worth like thirty dollars now, um, but I finally found it at a GameStop, so I decided to get it. And then besides, or be behind, excuse me, those two are the older uh, only at GameStop Han Solo on Hoth and uh, Chewbacca on Hoth, um, since they fit in with the uh, Empire stuff. I have them back there, but that's the uh, Empire Strikes Back shelf uh, for now. That's definitely going to change as a uh, you know, more stuff comes out as that Chewie comes out and uh, whatnot. But down here is the other two Empire Strikes Back stuff. You got the Yoda and uh, the Dagobah Yoda in the hut, as well as the uh, Darth Vader in his uh, meditation chamber. Um, then over here, I kind of started doing like a prequel series, Clone Wars. Like, I don't want to say section because there's obviously not all of them are like fit into that of what I said in that category. But just kind of wanted some of those up front since I personally love those movies. Um, we also got my Galaxy's Edge uh, Hondo Inake there, which is one of my favorite Star Wars pops. You got Obi-Wan, Anakin, um, there's the other two, As Asaka, and uh, I, I always mess that up. I always mess it up in videos and then say it right off camera, but it's Ahsoka, not Asaka. I know I know the damn name. <laughs> Ahsoka and Yoda from Clone Wars. Um, we got Wado, which is one of my favorite Star Wars pops. Uh, Sebulba, which is one of my newer Star Wars pops. I showed that in my collection video. Um, just got that recently really cool one. Got the Padme right there, young Anakin. There's my Ben Kenobi that I recently got is back there. Older Pops, blue box down there. Um, got my Unmasked Vader right behind my Vader meditation chamber, so pretty cool. As well as my uh, re-release Clone Wars, or Clone Trooper, excuse me, uh, Pop back there. Again, just some other figures, but yeah, so that's what that uh, shelf is kind of, excuse me, semi turning into. I want to eventually make, get more prequel based pops and I uh, just want them to come out with more in general so I can have more Phantom Menace, uh, excuse me, Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith uh, pops. But for now, I'll work with what I got and uh, what is out. Uh, this is the fourth of the five shelves in this uh, display. You got the 10 inch Kylo Ren sitting there as well as just a bunch of random exclusives. So you got Boba Fett, the uh, Funko Insider Club, got one of my favorite Star Wars pops, the San Diego, or San Diego Comic-Con Fall Convention, um, New York Comic-Con from last year, Sand Trooper, got some uh, Galactic Convention gold chrome pops there, back here, got the lights and sound, Kylo Ren and Vader, you got the uh, future of Boba Fett and Darth Vader as well, what's back here, the Darth Vader chrome, remember when that like had just dropped and it was like so hard to get and then it, you know everyone seemed it seems like everyone was eventually able to get one and now it's worth like ten dollars or something like that um then you got the uh anaheim or not anaheim uh yeah anaheim wonder WonderCon, uh boba fett one of uh i think two of them right there but yeah just kind of some random exclusives on this shelf um just because you know they don't fit into a certain series or something like that um then i also just threw the kylo ren with them uh, just because but down here on the last shelf of the uh, Star Wars uh, shelf is all my Last Jedi and Force Awakens pops, as well as my two San Diego Comic Con pops from last year, the gold or excuse me, green chrome Boba Fett and Yoda. Um, but yeah, literally double stacked just like this, kind of library style. Um, those are Last Jedi pops back there, and those are double stacked, and these are Force Awakens pops, and there's probably some Force Awakens as well back there, but you know, I'm trying to see, those are all yeah, Last Jedi's back there, so. You know, not a lot of pops that I uh, absolutely love. Um, uh, honestly, a lot of the Last Jedi and Force Awakens pops were pops I got early on in my collecting. Um, there's some cool pops, don't get me wrong. Like, don't get, like, I really, like, General Hux, you know, kind of plain, but still cool. This is the uh, Summer Convention 2016 Han Solo, real cool pop. So it's not like these pops aren't cool, um, but it's just the movies they're based off of. And, you know, it's not huge. So they don't get... They've been on display for a while and, you know, in different ways. So just kind of set them up library style just to fit them on the shelf for now. Um, so that's fine. But to finish off um, this uh, Star Wars display, I've shown these in the past, but these are my two baseball bat displays for uh, my Star Wars Funko Pop. So up top is the uh, one of two. So this one's all Jedi. So up there, you got my General Grievous uh, Walgreens exclusive, which price has gone up on that the past few months, which is why that is uh, in a pop protector now. Um, but you guys can see here who's in the case. You got Yoda, Mace Windu, Kit Fisto, 
Count Dooku, who I recently got, Ahsoka, Darth Maul, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Kylo Ren, and Rey. Um, some really cool stuff there. One of my favorite uh, pieces of my collection, I guess. So, honestly, this whole wall, how it's set up, is uh, probably one of my favorite, uh, probably my favorite uh, like wall display in my uh, in my office here. But still, really cool. And then down here is the second of two baseball bat displays. This is the Mandalorian one. So you got Mando himself, Cara Dune, IG Eleven, Quill, the heavy infantry Mandalorian, and Senator Stormtrooper, covert Mandalorian, the armor. Uh, Death Watch Mandalorian, you got the uh, Only a Target Mandalorian with the Flamethrower, and then there's my third, uh, three of three, uh, I guess you could say, or one of three, whatever, uh, <laughs> Baby Yoda, this is the first one I got, and then those other two up there, one was from Barnes and Nobles, and one was from a GameStop pre-order, so, so somehow I ended up getting three, but that is uh, kind of how I have updated my uh, Star Wars Funko Pop display and collection, Obviously, Star Wars, the pretty much main thing I collect. I mean, there's a bunch of other Funko Pops off to the side over here to the point where all my newer ones are in a box on the floor because they don't have room. But yeah, for the Star Wars ones, just recently updated the display today. So I wanted to show you guys. And I think it's uh, come out pretty cool. And it's going to change, you know, pretty soon because the more Star Wars Pops that come out, which there's, you know, pretty much always Star Wars Pops coming out, you know, the more I get and the more this gets updated. And even older ones, I go back and buy older ones all the time. So you know, it's going to change eventually, but for now, I'm really liking how the display is, so i uh, pretty happy with it, and I uh, hope you guys like it as well. This is Rogue Two. This is Rogue Two. Commander Skywalker, do you copy? This is Rogue Two.